Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Let's jump down here and run all the way through this way. Okay, so how is our little wire production going on here? This one's nearly full. Yeah, we're doing really well with that one. That one is almost very nearly full. And then this one over here, it's absolutely chock-a-block. It's stuffed completely full. And that one's going to fill up pretty soon as well. So let's take two of those. And then we'll go and get concrete. I want to get as much concrete as I can carry. We are not producing enough concrete, though. Definitely not producing enough to be able to do everything that I'm going to need to do with this. Which is a little bit of a shame, but yeah, I'm yeah, not even close. Right, so we got 164. I need 500. It's not producing it fast enough on there, right? We've got this one up here. But it's not producing this fast enough on here. Look, see, it's, it's, it's knocking it out at three, uh, 30 a minute. Which means that we're only getting 10 a minute down there, which is going to take a long time. So, next decision, what can we do? There is a, well, decision. There is a very easy thing that we can do. We can actually go and look for a little bit more lime. There's one spike of the stuff just there, I think. Is that a lime spike? No, that's not a lime spike. Thought I heard something for a minute. I heard something creepy in the darkness, but I didn't. I don't have my taser, so if we get attacked, we're in trouble. Or to bring that with me, really. Uh, yeah, I don't have my taser. I want to find a lime deposit. I don't have my hub search thing. There's two of them there. I think they're chasing me. They sound like they're chasing me. Pretty sure they're chasing me. Yep. He's chasing me. I'm just going to keep jumping. I'm going to hope that... Oop. Nope. Apparently hasn't lost interest yet. Where is he? There he is. How far do you chase? Keep running. Down here. Right, I don't want to die. Is he going to chase? I think he's lost interest. <laughs> right. We don't really want to go off exploring if we don't have our safety equipment. So let's go and get some safety equipment. We need to be able to go and find another little bit of lime. There are ways to go and get lime. So if we take that and we take the... Op I don't know if I can actually scan for lime at the moment. Let me go and have a look. No, I, it's not the object scanner that I want. Let's put you back. I don't need you. I don't need the chainsaw either. Although, you know, it probably wouldn't hurt to take it. No, I've, I've got loads. Yeah, absolutely loads. Look. 200. Oh yeah, i got like 300 of those. So I don't need that. I don't need to worry about it. So the only thing that I actually want to do is... I do want to equip that one just in case... And I could probably do with eating a little bit of food. I've only got two. I've just got two barrel nuts. Let's eat those a minute. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it for my barrel nuts. Oops, wait a minute. And then I want to take you like that. Now, it was proceed like that. I want to scan for limestone. Yes. Right, well, we know that we got limestone up that way. There's limestone over here, but I'm pretty sure I've already mined... Oh, no, I got one right there. There's one right next, literally right next to our base that I've been staring at for the last probably six hours. There. Press and hold E to pick up limestone pure. So we'll mine at this little lot here. Get that lot there. Um... 
I have been sent by a couple people now a tips and tricks video which um, shows a whole load of different tips and tricks. It's not like spoilers and that, but there's some really awesome tips and tricks on the video. Uh, I do apologize. I haven't actually gotten around to watching it yet. It's on my to-do list. Trust me, it really is because I really do want to have a look at it and learn a couple of these little tips and tricks because, uh, you know, I think I could probably do it to help. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten round to watching it. Definitely, definitely on my to-do list. I'm not ignoring it. I'm, I'm not trying to, um, do this without watching anything like that or help myself in any way. I am going to watch it. It's just I haven't gotten round to it yet. It's, that's, I, but I am, I am, I promise, I will do it. I will definitely do it. I want to. I want to watch, I'm, and I'm kind of thinking right now, I should have done, because... Wait, what's that? Well, it's just leaves. I thought maybe that was uh, something really cool. But nope, it's just regular leaves. That's something useful. One pale berry. There's an item there of some... Oh, there we go. That's that's another thing. Oh, I should have brought... There's another one up behind us. There's one of these. I didn't even realize this one was here. We'll have you. Green power slug. We'll definitely take that one. And then there's another green power slug we know up on the top of the cliff up there, which we will be going to get at some point. But what I'm looking around for is I'm looking to see if we can find any more of um, the other stuff. That is pure sulfur right there. As far as I know, sulfur has not yet been added into the game at all. So even though it's there... Um, there isn't actually anything you can do with sulfur. You can pick it up and um, just use it. But there is absolutely no other benefit to it whatsoever. So there's little point in actually collecting it at the moment. We can just ignore that. There's one of those tick whale things. And there he is. Mr. Brute. Let him run over that way. Like that. And he... Runs it round, and he's dead. I actually did that without taking any damage. I'm very impressed with myself. I can hear a slug. Oh, no. That's not a slug. There's something else up there. One of those alien-type things. Let's just go over this way a minute, and we will grab those berries. And then we will go to here. So what have I got? I've got a green power slug. i got 14 of them. i got pale... Let's, let's have some pale berries first. Then we'll go with... Those. Like that. That's eaten all of those that I can. And then we'll take that one. Right. Now I got two lots of this. Which is absolutely fine to me. We'll mine up these two lots of limestone. And then when I've got that I can run it back. And we can convert this into more materials. There's that lot. I love the noise that thing makes as it flies over. It's a very cool beastie. That thing is just freaky. There's no two ways about it. That thing is just freaky. Right, we'll race on back over here. I'm going up over the top because I'm hoping that we can... Actually hoping that there isn't anything nasty down here. Uh, don't appear to be. Up over the top over this way, I'm pretty sure there's another power slug. And our home is over this way as well. There was something up on the cliff. What's that? Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. That's a very strange looking thing. Absolutely no clue. So, there's our home over here. We've got... There's the power slug. That's the bad boy that we wanted. And look! Look at our little property down here. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted... Oh. I was going to get rid of that, but I got no room to let go of it. Can I, like, drop that? Oh, yeah, you can. You can you can drop it in the trash like that. Just trash it. There we go. Hey, wait a minute. There was a reason I wanted to do this. I wanted to remove that. There, the Zeno Zapper is now gone. Now I can have a better look at my house. We'll go over this side. Don't fall off the edge. Because from this height, it could very well kill us. There, look at that! That's absolutely awesome. 
And we got, we have got a massive, massive amount of concrete has gone down through here, right? This, this is actually, oh, excuse me. This is actually really seriously impressive. And we've got, like, there's a big open plain, so we've got a load of space over that way that we can build on. But the main thing about this game is it's, yeah, we all know Factorio is the, the, the yardstick that we are measuring this game on. And make no mistakes, we are using Factorio to measure this game, right? Uh, that, that is the one that we're comparing it to. It's, it's just going to be happening. Um, Factorio, you are, you're looking down anyway. Uh, but you just, you go outwards with Factorio. That's never an issue. Um, you know, space is infinite. This one, space is finite. But what you got instead is you go up. So we're going to have to start putting walls down and then building more and more layers of factory. We go up and up and up and up. And I think that's kind of the whole idea of this one is you keep going up rather than outwards. I mean, we can build up quite a long way and then we can spread out across that cliff over there and uh, things like that. So there's plenty of space for us to move. It's just that we've got to find the right places to go for it. We go... Oh, hang on a minute. There's one thing I do want to do. I'm going to go like that and consume one of them. And we're going to go in here. Actually, no. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to take those off. And I'm going to go back into here. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of those two. And that one there. And the rest I'm going to keep hold of for a minute. I'm going to go in here, and we're going to turn everything that we've got, all of that, we're going to make another... Seriously? I just went all that way, all that exploring, and all I've got is 75 bits of... I'm hoping that there is at least some more concrete in our factory now. Uh, we've got 200 some odd concrete now. 239. We haven't got enough. I want to rebuild the space elevator, then we're sort of back to where we were. I still got a lot more concrete that I need to use. I've got to rip up all of the copper producing stuff. Take all of that. Uh, one, two, three. Wait, really? Is that? That's all. I got 350. I need another 150 concrete yet. It's gonna take forever. Well, it's gonna take 15 minutes of gameplay. It's gonna take forever. Right. Well, I can't really go and rip all that lot up, but what I'm thinking is the longer I leave this running, the more I'm going to have in the storage containers, which is going to make it more difficult to move. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go over here and we're going to remove that. We're going we're to stop this one. And I think I'm going to do that by removing the conveyor belt here, that bit. That bit of conveyor belt right there is now gone. So right from the top up there. That bit can stay there. That's that's absolutely fine. This here can use up and it will empty everything out, which is good. Then we're not going to have too much um, excess material that we don't want to have here, which would be rather useful. I got 30. Let's wait for them to use up a bit. Um, and I've got a bit of iron ore, but now everything's kind of backed up, look. Everything all the way through is backed up here. The screws in here, we've got nearly a thousand of those. And then this one over here, we've got loads of iron rods now. This one in here, we're getting quite a few iron plates. That's really awesome and great. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm literally just waiting on the concrete to produce. We want that one to run out there. But I mean, I've still got, I've got these here. And that's the stuff that we want to make the assembler. And with the space elevator, the first thing that we wanted to be launching was like loads of plates and loads of rotors and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, we could actually start doing our first bit with an assembler. We could start manufacturing something over here. We know that we got the space elevator going over there, right? So we're going to have to be careful where we start putting this stuff down. And I'm wondering if we should even have assemblers down if, if we should have assemblers here at all because what i was wondering is whether we should put assemblers like go up a layer and put assemblers further up and, and have them higher up build a whole load more different items so we could have another one of those setups there just limestone 
Being mine, turning straight into concrete. So that we can build more walls, more platforms, stuff like that. We go there with the walls, like that. We've got uh, wall door center there. That takes concrete and iron. Uh, just a regular wall. Three concrete, three iron. That one's... Right, there's literally no difference between the two other than aesthetics. It is, it's just aesthetics. It's just it, whether it looks good or not. They're both identical. Let's have a look at these. Right, so that one is more in keeping with the style of the main HUD. Main hub. Right, I'll drop that one there. And then the other one. That one. Right, it's kind of like that. So we can have that or we can have the, the, the X built into it. Right, you can do that. That's the two different styles of wall that we've got. You know, I'm looking at these. I'm wondering which one would be best to go all the way around. I, at the moment, I don't really know. And I'm thinking, actually, we would go up. We would need to go two layers of wall to be bringing it up high enough to do another layer. Maybe even three layers of wall, I suppose. How much can you put foundations out over the top? These are questions that don't really matter for a minute. They don't really matter at all. I could build an... I, I'm going to build an assembler. That's going to be the next thing that I do. We're going to go right here. We're going to go with production. I'm going to go with an assembler right there. And I'm going to turn you round. So I want two in and one out. Now that one's going to go just like that. There, I got one assembler right there. I can make modular frames... From rods and steel plates, uh, reinforced iron plates. That one, rods and screws. That one is screws and plates. So I can't do the modular frame because I need to make the reinforced iron plates first. I'm thinking rods, screws into one rotor, make the rotors. I'm thinking that would be the best one to start off with. So I've got these three out here. That's the screws that come out that side. So if I bring a belt out of there, like that, I bring that one over there, and I drop that one in there. All right. That's really simple, easy job done. So then we have a look at that. So that's... Yeah, rotors. We'll do rotors. So then I can do this one over here. I can bring out another belt and go conveyor belt like that. I drop that one in there. As easy as that. So that's the two of them together. And then I go into here. I'm making rotors. I could put a thingy out the other end. I'm not actually going to put a thingy out the other end. A thingy is the, the, the correct term, by the way. Uh, what about that? That one's on four of four already. See, this is the problem. You get these that go on to the 404. So what I need to do is actually need to put another power pole. No, I don't. I'm going to put a power pole over here somewhere. Because I'm going to want another one of these. Right, I'll, I'll drop one over there. And then I'll go... That's three of four. That's four of four. That's... Right, well, I'll run you out to there. And I'll run you over onto this one there. Now, that's moving into here. I'm using up 132 screws per minute, and I'm using 18 iron rods per minute. And that is producing 6 rotors per minute if we're running at maximum capacity. And down here, this is... Oh, this is clock speed. Power shard. So I, I can overclock this one by a considerable margin if I want to. I don't want to. I'm just going to leave that one there. So... Oh, we've, we've made one of them. So the iron rods, they will it'll very quickly fill up on here, and then we're just going to be waiting on screws. The screws is the bit that's going to take the time on here. There, there's one producing. It takes a while to make one rotor anyway. That goes all the way up. We've got most of the screws have moved in for ready for the next bit before that happens. And then I move over to here. So I've, I've got like 2,000 screws in there. There's plenty there to be going on with. And then this one here has got lots. Let's go and have a look over this side and see our assembling machine 
running. I want to I want to stand up on here. There. Right. There's our assembler. Got everything? There. Right. A couple more and then it's going to make. Right. So it does its little bit in there. Yeah. It's making. And then that runs an item there that comes out of this side. Is a job to see what it's putting out that side. Like, does it have a particular animation for each item that it makes? Like, does this have a particular animation for each item that it makes? That goes up, comes down. That looked like a load of bolts and stuff. Yeah? So look at this one. It's exactly the same. Right, so it's it's the same type of animation that it, it, it um, produces for each one. That's... Well, that, that's fine. It's not going to make any difference to us, really, is it? Go and have a look at you. How are you that we've got 86? We're getting we're getting there. We are now getting it. We're up to 42. I need another 48. What I'd actually want to do is, if I head over this way, we know that we've got another limestone thing over this side. I've got one just over there. I'll run over there, and we will just mine a little bit of the limestone. We can do this by hand. I don't, I don't need to put a miner down. I can... Mine impure limestone. So it does take a little while to mine this. I'm just going to sit here and do this for a minute. Uh, picked up 60 of them now. It takes a long time to do this. But this should just speed things along a little bit. And then we'll worry about putting out the other part. I'm not going to build anything off of concrete platform. At all. Anywhere. That's just not going to happen. So if I build this right here, there's another 20 pieces that I've got there and there. So now I need four, I need 38. 38 more pieces of concrete and we're all done. Let's go skipping in through here. How many have you made me now? I need 38. There's 24. I need another 13. Just another, there's one of them. There's one of them right there. And this the Oh, how do I take it off of the conveyor belt? E to pick up. There we go. I picked it up off the off, off the conveyor belt, and I got that. I just ten. I just need another ten. And no, it's actually taking all of this as as fast as we possibly can produce it. Right there. I could overclock this one so that we can produce more. I'm actually seriously considering that. Because we need a load of limestone for building the walls on this base. So it's ultimately what we're going to have is we're going to need more limestone in our base than we're going to need anything else at all. That one there is now completely full on that. Uh, the rods on there, they're going to be going into this, into this uh, storage container faster than they're coming out. We've run over this way, look. Well, they should be anyway. Uh, except that... Screws over here. Yeah, it's slowly using up the screws, but I don't have a storage container for these. So eventually that will stop. Once that reaches 100, it will stop producing them, which should be a good thing. I used up a couple bits of copper. What did I use that on? Was it on this back here? I need three anyway. That's all I need. Is I, I, need I need three pieces. So we'll go to here. There we go. Pick up the wire. Pick up the wire. And pick up the wire. So there's three pieces of copper. Hang on. There. And we need ten pieces of concrete. We run back over here. There should be our ten pieces of concrete. Which means we are now in a position to go and rebuild the space elevator up on the platform here that we've done. Oh, we've got 16 of them. We have got excess. Fantastic. Now, where am I going to stand for this? I'm thinking I want to stand up there. because I, I love the view. It was absolutely awesome watching it be built last time. That's probably one of my favorite things that I've seen in this game so far was that space elevator being constructed. It was genuinely, genuinely beautiful. So we're going to do that again. We're going to go right there. Space elevator. Look at that bad boy right there. And where are we going to put it? So we've got... Right, my problem now is... Let's go, that's as far out as I want to go. Okay. I'm thinking there. That's, that's a central location. Let's do it. Like that. 
And I press Q like that and everything goes flying out. This is awesome! I love the way that it goes flying in like that. It's genuinely amazing. Look at it! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That is very, very wickedly cool. It is. It's absolutely awesome, that is. And then you've got that one out there. That comes flying down. Joins in from the top. Which, again, is, is pretty cool. But it kind of snakes down as well. That hooks in there. That hooks in like that. So I'm not really sure what the principle is of this. Like whether that's supposed to be something up there that is pulling out into space and then this just kind of catapults it up. Or if this shoots it up. I mean, I know the original idea of the space elevator in um, like in, in real life is that it shoots it up. Yeah, it, it kind of works as a, as a big catapult. Um, right, let's jump over to here. And now we can go and have a look at this. So we come over to this side... We go to the actual platform right there and we look at it. So we need to load up 50 rotors and we need to load up 75 reinforced plates. So we don't actually need the square frames. We need rotors and reinforced plates. So I've got these. The rotors are being made right now. And then we're going to also want the reinforced plates being built. So the next item that we want is we want a second one of these. But in order to be able to do that, I want to be able to take iron plates and screws. So I think I'm going to have to change around the way that I've got this. That's, that's going to be our next move is that one is going to come straight down there. And the screws can keep coming across there. And that one is going to need to move. I'm really what we should... I know what we need to do. To make this work better just for these two... We would just want to swap those two round. But... And you've got the next bit. Okay, now th th this is the bit. There's always a but, isn't there? there? There is always a but. So you look in here. Right, we can make those two. You've got the reinforced iron plates. That takes those off one side and those, if we moved it round, out of the middle. And then we make the rotor, which takes those out of the middle and those off the other side. So it's very, very easy to set up and split apart. Then you have that one. Throw in a... just Actually, no. Takes the iron rods off of one side. And then takes the reinforced iron plates. Okay. I've convinced myself to change this round. That's in the wrong spot. I have convinced myself that that is in the wrong spot. So what I want to do is I want to bring this up. And I've got the iron rods all going into there. And I shouldn't have quite so many iron rods going into there. So let's let's do this. We will remove you. And you. And that one there. And that one. That one. That one there. That storage container. You, you, you. Oh, I hope I haven't, like, killed my... No, I haven't killed my storage space. Okay, that's good. And then, finally, I will take you off of there. Okay, so we've got iron plates coming off of that side. Now, what we want to do is we want to... We, we want to have the same setup that we had over here, but I need to reverse it essentially what I want to do. That's that's why I took the, all of it apart. And I come up here like that. And I want to get to here. So what I think I want to do is I want to put a constructor. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.